Ah, yo, we made this. Ammo 7 did it again. Welcome everyone to another episode of Big Ego Media. I've got another special guest called by no other than Tricky. Hi today, man. I'm all right, bro. Is yeah. that the is that the intro I'm getting, bro? Activist, bro. I'm an activist and also. Oh, oh, I mean, we, 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 we're, mm-hmm. gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna get into all of that. Yeah. We're gonna get into yeah. all of that. Nah, come on, man. Love you, bro. God Wait, bless, man. I feel like I only saw you when it was like, two days ago, three days ago, yeah. a week ago, a week yeah. ago. But anyway, we'll, we'll get into everything. As we always start, we want to get to know the person, humanize them, and let them know who their story. Where mm. you from? Where did you grow up? I'm from Hackney. Yeah. Obviously, um, well, not obviously, but I'm from Hackney. Um, grew up. My first early days was um, B- Bannister. Was it in the Bannister? No, Nesbit House. Okay. Nesbit House. That's Homerton. Um, then moved to Jack Dunning. Okay. So I was living in Jack Dunning, and um, back and forth from Jack Dunning to. Um, I can't remember another part of Lower Clapton yeah. where my mum met my um, stepdad where yeah. I got my brothers and that from. We'll get into that. Um, but yeah, early days with Jack Dunning. In my, in my early, early days, before I was 12, 13. Like, okay. from... Because I was outside early. Okay. Like, yeah, in Jack Dunning Estate. So, I mean, who was your... Like, growing up with, did you live both your parents at the time? Was mum and dad both there at the very beginning? My mum, my dad wasn't too far. Like, my mum my will live in... Um, Jack Dunning Estate, and my dad lived in next to Homer Hospital. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like Hackney close. Police Station, Homer Hospital was yeah. like they were my close. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy that we didn't see him so much. He was my close when I think. <laughs> when I, but you know, as a kid, you think, yeah. right, he's far, like because mm-hmm. you got to cross a few roads. Yeah. But yeah, my dad was um, yeah, my dad was kind of close still, right? But nah, mostly I only live with my mum. And yeah. how, how did that, you think that affected you at the time? Like, him being so close. And looking back now, he's right there, but you didn't see him as much. No, 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 no. I think you've even seen the talk with, I had with my dad. Like it didn't, it didn't really affect me like that. Like I'm not really a sub story guy where I'm gonna be like, "Raw, my parents never." Like no, I think I, I think that young, you don't even notice. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I used to notice only the times when my dad used to come through with trainers or yeah. money, because you think you're gonna get that all the time, in it. Yeah. So you're thinking like, "No, I need to be with my dad, man." Yeah. You get me, Mumsy's not doing this, but Mumsy's struggling now, you know. Mm. She's struggling in a different way, so she can't give you a score. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because she's got to buy shopping for the household with, like, me. like, And there was, like, six of us in a um, two-bedroom two bedroom house. Yeah. And how, how was school at the time for you? Was you one of the clever kids, or you well-behaved, or did you struggle a bit? No, I was I, I, I was very clever, man. I used to, at well, I, was the, I, was, I used to ace... Um, any spelling test. I was just great at spelling, great at English, yeah. not so good at maths, but a bit of a class clown, I would say. Like, they used to just hyper, you know me even yeah. now, like, yo, bro, like, da, da. They, they used to be like, oh, gosh, they, they even told my mom, I think I was about eight or something, like, yeah. we need to, I think Tristan needs to see her. I was like, hi, Tristan. <laughs> She's like, no, like, he's like that all the time, like, yeah. so it wasn't, yeah, I was just, you get what I'm saying? What were your kind of early interests? What was you into, hobbies wise? Um, early interest into a bit of football, just like everyone, but clocking early because you know there's techers man back mm-hmm. in the day. Mm-hmm. Clocking early, I'm not the grade. <laughs> like you get what I'm saying? I've got to go somewhere else. I got to do basically. I got to be canty. Yeah. I got to clock early. That I got to just muck up and because the all like remember we live in all of our hoods. There was that skillful tech, yeah. them guys with the tech. That one guy with the the, the super shot. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Every that one guy that can cross. I didn't have none of that. Mm. But um, going into secondary school, basketball. Like my um, a few of my older brothers that done, done basketball as well. So it was basketball. We used to play at. Um, I used to go Hackney Free School, but I used to go and play at Homerton. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? Wait, yeah. What, just to touch on basketball. Why do you think it's never really taken off in the UK? I don't know, man. We used to have some ballers, mm. some ballers. I don't, I don't, I don't know why, man. I don't know, I don't know why. I really, yeah, I ain't got a clue, man. Yeah. And they used to have a team called London Towers. Yeah, okay. I don't know if it's changed to London Lions or, but it was London Towers, and there was a, a coach, R.I.P. Um, Joe White. Okay. 
So Joe White was like the guy, like he used to keep everyone straight and put us into basketball. But yeah, I don't know what, why it's not, not taking off because we used to have um, tournaments against other schools like yeah. Hackney Free, Hackney Downs, Kingsland, Gladesmore. Like we just used to have like little tournaments, but after that it was kind of like nothing. There weren't no scholarship for it or yeah. nothing. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. So I mean, going back to being young again, you said you was outside very early. Mm. Did that culminate first of just hanging outside on the street with the, with the little for playing football and so yeah. on? And how did the transition from doing that turn into being on the road? Well, it was just like you know, you're 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 outside playing like I'm going to make myself seem old now. Run outs. Okay, okay. You're playing run outs and that, and where I was, it was like a proper community. Mm. So at like. And I'm at the I'm at the young age where I'm outside early, like about seven, eight, and mm. all the all the older ones will know me and this, that, and the other, and they're out till and my window's right there. So when I'm going inside, I'm seeing them outside, but yeah. they're out till late. Like even in summertime, I clock now is late, but I used to go out when the sun was like still shining. Yeah. I used to go I have to go inside. My mum's calling me. You know, you can't go too far. Mm. If your mum calls you <laughs> and you don't hear her, that means you're too far. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? You get beat for that. Mm. So um, yeah, that was that that was my early my early days. But I had older brothers in it, yeah. so I had older brothers to follow outside and try yeah. and be around them and just play football. Right, you know, my mom, you, you know, when your mom used to be like, go where I can see you, yeah. and you'd be like, right, so you cool. had older siblings, yeah, yeah, yeah. After, yeah. After you meant older brothers, as in just the ones you said. No, around. man, like so, I got so older brothers, man. How how, how many? Um, this is where it gets techy because you're going to be like on what side and da 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 da. The well, ones you immediately grew up with, I guess. Then. The ones I immediately grew up is it's crazy because my mum met my stepdad when I was about five, okay. six. Yeah. So that's my brothers right there. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? I'm not going to get too technical in it. But yeah, um, me, my brother, Daniel, um, Tyron, Casa. You were the youngest. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I was the youngest. My, my brother Kitzelan, who used to live with um, my dad, and Aaron and Mark, who used to live with um, their mum. So it's all so boys? It was yeah, it was all boys. It was crazy. It was crazy because we was all connected by the stepdad and this, yeah. that, and the other. So, like, I've so got... So you had one of those families, I'm thinking, like, everyone knows, them. there's all that family in the hood. Yeah, them and all their brothers. You yeah, yeah, no, 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 100%. the youngest that... It's kind of your initiation because no one dare touch you because like, yeah, I got my own I'm, I'm glad you even said that because people will always say, well, Tricky weren't about this, Tricky never, da 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 There's nowhere in Hackney they're going to gonna tell you, we'll get to it, that Tricky used to run around bossing his gun and da 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 I, I, I didn't have that. And I'm glad you even said that because people find disrespect to that. Yeah. No, bro, I was, I was fully like, guys didn't even put a foot wrong, bro, because yeah. my brothers didn't play that, yeah. like, from top to bottom. None of, none of them played them games, yeah. so... So, yeah. I, you mentioned something earlier as well, run outs, right? Yeah. And we had things like knockdown ginger. Knockdown ginger, all of that, yeah. Kids of this day, I mean, my daughter's here right now. If I tell her what run out and a knockdown ginger yeah. is, she probably wouldn't have a clue. Yes, I do. Oh, you know? Okay, she did. They, yeah. they, they do, they do. But, like, do you think it's changed that kids don't play like that? Everyone's on 100%, the phones, 100%, 100%, 100%, bro. Like, and I was saying this to one of my OGs the other day, Big Up Bobby, man. Um, I was saying this, like, I went through all the stages. Mm. There wasn't a stage I missed. Do you get me? I'm saying like theft. Well, I didn't skip from theft and then start to be the biggest drug dealer in the hood. Theft. Rob, it, it goes at stages. You start nicking sweets and then you stop doing nicking sweets and you think, let me go behind the till and then you start from, let, let me take over the shop and let me do, let me go to a bigger shop, a bigger shop with more money. It, it goes on like there's stages you have to do. Like, And I think they miss out on them fun stages because yeah. I had these stages that I'm telling you about and these stages were like seven, eight, nine years old. Yeah. You get me? Got me to not only have my brothers there, but know all the other boys mm. that are growing up. And these ones are like 16 mm. at the time. You get what I'm saying? About to be running the place and doing what they're doing and knowing you from a young age. Like, mm. do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think they do miss out. I think they do miss out on just getting to... It's probably the reason why they don't know each other like that. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you don't go outside. Because you don't go outside, yeah. really. Like, yeah. So, when was it then? It went from, I guess watching everyone to actually partaking in criminal activities? Um, well, my brothers were older than me, so they were way ahead of me. Like, as I said, we used to live in a house. 
So anytime they're coming on, on coming back with any sort of badness, we're in the same room, it's two bedrooms. You get what I'm saying? My mum and my stepdad and six of us in one room. Mm. Me, me, uh, imagine it. Yeah. Like two bunk beds and a single bed. Yeah. My sister's on the single bed, top and tail. Mm. Me and my brother, the Daniel, top and bottom. And Casa and Tyron, top and bottom on the other bunk bed, yeah. all coming out of one room. So my point being is someone can't come home with a biscuit and, <laughs> and someone don't know. You'd be like, hey, where you get biscuits from? Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So it's from, it's, it's from that time, like yeah. from, yeah, you're man. You're seeing everything around yeah, you. Yeah, you're see. seeing, you're, 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 I'm, I'm seeing it. And my guys, I think my first time was, we used to steal um, Parker pens from Woolworths. Okay. And Parker pens were like six, seven pound. Mm. We used to sell them to the white boys. Cause remember the white boys are coming in school with like, they're getting 10 pound a day yeah. to go to school. As a black, you're getting two pound a week. Do you get what I'm saying? So we're trying to really just start hustling. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. that wasn't enough. I was, I was stealing them and selling them to the white boys for like five pound. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Was you kind of aware of, um, I guess in that day maybe there wasn't, but was you kind of aware of kind of where you lived as in what Hackney represented and Hackney seen as a bad area or you kind of oblivious to it? No, I'm very uh, uh, oblivious, man. Yeah. Oblivious to, to to the whole thing. It was like, you saw, I didn't clock how much man were like that in Hackney until probably 17, 18, 19, 20. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And this is like, like the, just, just the whole heap of them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just one man sitting here, bro. Mm. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds who, who, who have names and have come from places and I can tell you so much, but no, I was, I was totally not aware yeah. like to anything going on around me. It was just like, we're cool. Like I just knew it, it was fighter days that day, innit? Yeah. And I just knew my brothers can fight. <laughs> but at the same time, you always get that guy that his brothers, da, 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 and you think, no, nah, man, I just want to do him something mm. like. But I didn't move like that because yeah. I was so cool. Mm. At the same time, they they had that extra love for me, yeah. thinking that he knows he can get people to do that, but he doesn't even hype on it. Like, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I, he was like, I was like the go-to guy at certain times, like to calm a man down. So. In what era then would you say, I guess then, the whole Mash Town thing came, came about then? Because that was much later. Cause much later, much later, later. much later. And no disrespect, when, I was, when, it, when, it, when it was like that, London, London Fields weren't even London Fields yeah. like that. Like, do you get what I'm saying? It, it got there because my brother, um, his mum used to live in um, Kingshold Estate. Yeah. His mum moved from Kingshold Estate which is over at E9 and moved to um, London Fields. Yeah. So while my brother's going to his mum's on the weekend, that's how my connection came. Because okay. I was originally from Jack Dunning, I moved over in Pembury yeah. for my guy, with my guy, that, um, Katie, we used to go to school together. Yeah. And, um, and this was like 12, 13, 14. And th th that this is when we, st I think the, there was travel agents and yeah. travel agent robberies, post office robberies and building societies mm. and, shops and and when you're doing those things because it, it it i was thinking about it the other day mm. i was going past a cash and transit man and i'm looking at it, i'm like fuck you know i was mad yeah like, this is actually crazy yeah. we actually go there and rub his finger keep it moving yeah. at that age when you're looking at those things what made you think oh, i'm gonna try this was it the money that you saw your friends yeah it was, it, it was the money but with me I got deep, but I didn't get the deepest. Mm. Like you see, when there's five man there, I'm making sure give me the give me the job to hold mm. the door. I hold the door. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? I'll, I'll hold the door mm. a good few times, bro, mm. and still got the same cut. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? As I'm gonna keep saying to you, even through this, remember with the streets, it's twenty percent physical, eighty percent mental. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So I just had to sight it. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trick. You hold the door, you know. Make sure you hold that door good. I'll be like, I will. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? No one ain't gonna hold this door better than me. Mm. But to 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 get in there and jump over and hold people and do all that, because <laughs> I always fought ahead and I thought, damn, if that charge comes, even if I just say what I done. Mm. All I know is I hold the door. You can mm. see that on the camera. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know no one, no one, no one else. And da, 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 da. Mm. It's the reason why when we used to do these robberies, we always used to think, talk and say like, um, no weapons. Mm. Because it goes from an armed robbery oh, yeah. to a robbery. Yeah. I remember one time my, my mate brought a knife on the scene and we were just pissed with him for doing that. Because mm. he changed the whole play. Do you get what I'm saying? If someone saw a knife on the scene, it changes it. And we're thinking, oh, we didn't have yeah. that. It changes it to an armed robbery. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. But... 
I forgot where it was going. What did no, you no, ask no, me? No, I was just saying that the transition of being brave enough to actually go and do it, but you explained yeah, that. Yeah, my guys, you actually, man. You, yeah. you played it cool, like, knowing what your role Bro, my would guy, be. Curtis, Chi, like, my brother, mm. like, there was pace setters. Yeah. Do you get me? And I was in, like, the, the second bracket of pace mm. setters. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, Corey, rest in peace, like, Mars's brother. Yeah. Da, 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 da. These were the pace setters from early that you yeah. was doing. Banks and did this and that and da, 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 da. So, it was, I was just going, I wasn't an inventor of that. Yeah. Like, any, anything I've done first and done on my own, I'm going to tell you. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But no, no, there was, there was things to go into. So, by the time you're going into, your initiation is just hold the door for now. Mm. So it's like I got comfortable with holding the door for this one. It's quite easy. <laughs> and you get to run first. Do you get me? Like, like we're gone. Like, boom. You ain't got to hold the door for everyone to go through it. Mm. Like, real talk. I, mm. I, I tell man, like, mm. and this is going to give man a clue. Like, mm. so, yeah, you want to be that crazy one that runs in there first, boy. You, you run in there first, you come out last. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Door man is, is there, bro. Yeah, the funny thing is, though, I was, I was a bit of both, but I was mostly the man that would run up and do it. Mm. Like people on my side, they're like, "Bob, you're the big one, man." Mm. Looking back, I think, yeah. was I being used? Yeah, <laughs> was I being used? Because the big one puts the most fear mm. into the people. Mm. Like, look how small I am now. Look yeah. how small I was then. Yeah. I'm putting no fear into no one. So mm. they're like, "Right, tricky, like hold the door." Like, do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but boy, that is, yeah, there's gonna be a message to the young ones even now. Yeah, hold the yeah. door, bro. <laughs> hold the door. It's the difference between seven years and two, you know. I, I, don't actually hold the door. Don't do it. <laughs> no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. This is how they get. <laughs> <laughs> this is how they're gonna say, follow Bobby, don't follow Tricky. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, don't do it, but like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, so in those, in if those you're there, years, hold the man. Did you kind of have any ambitions of what you want it to be? Nah, 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 nah. I think people who chat crap about when I say, yeah, I was 13. Like, well, when people say that, I mm. say, God bless you for having that sort of um, space yeah. in your brain to even think like that yeah. see when i see guys like 17 and i was thinking like this man didn't have the brain space bro because mm. when we was doing the robberies and everyone went to jail that part where loon told you about mm. and he was like everyone was going in and out of jail um i went in jail for robbery like uh, this must have been like like 97 98 yeah do you get what i'm saying that that um how long, how long, how long did you do i got 18 months done nine Okay. My happiest thing ever is to tell the prison system I've never done more than 11 and a half months in jail. Okay. In, in jail. I've, uh, I've never done more than a year mm. in jail. 11 and a half months in 20 plus years. You had a great run. I, bro, I had a great run. Yeah. But I had a great run because I knew when to chill mm. certain times. Certain times I have like a year off yeah. and just be stunting like, and just be doing what I'm doing slowly but surely while I get my mind together and da 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 There was times where we, where we was under surveillance yeah. and... I'm just chilling. Police are following me. Like I'm coming out in the morning. Like, did a, oh, where are you going today? Uh, they nothing, bro. Following me to eat. My sister will tell you mm. big facts. Like going to eat in restaurants and they're just sitting there. Mm. And I'm like, I got. I think I got a little line. I think I saw it in a movie yeah. where they sent the officers some drinks. Big facts. I'm gonna tell you. This is big facts. Mm. Ego. I'm gonna t only tell you facts. <laughs> and I sent them a drink. My guy, me, my guy Jamie. Jamie was like my. My muscle. Force, yeah. yeah, you get what I'm saying? So me, my guy Jamie and my sister and the, and the police are there, like da-da-da-da-da. And I just bought them a drink and it goes, yeah, Tris, man, yeah, oh, Tris. And they just backed it. Mm. You get me? They was like, Tris, like, yeah, you're, you're such a nice guy, like da 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 Like, but you know how it is, isn't it? Like, mm. I'm like, just just stop following me, man. It's getting annoying, isn't it? But, yeah. So, so I, 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 at this time, you, you trans, trans, transferred from robbery to food at the time. Yeah, I think everyone went, went, went to jail for robbery. And me, I'm not stubborn. Mm. Like, happen once and I'm gone. Mm. No, 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 no. I'm not going through that again. Like, do you get what I'm saying? And, um, like, I've been in prison three times. The other two times was um, driving whilst I was qualified. Yeah. Something, so baby food. Another thing I'm happy about, to say that, like, in all, in all these years, I've, I haven't had a gun charge, a drug charge, nothing. Because, you know, everyone comes on these things and they like to brag about, mm. yeah, I've got gun charges. Mm. I have zero. Mm. Do you get it? Like, I have none. You can do, what are you going to tell me? I've never held a... You, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You can't tell me I've never held one. Mm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? But, and, but as I was saying to you before, I just knew when to chill at certain yeah. times. And it's, it's a cat and mouse game in these streets. Like, but what were you saying just now? Sorry? No, that, you, you basically answered it to me. Fair. What did you say to me? You, you got me confused now as well. But that, basically, yeah. it was um, ha transferring from... Fruit from yeah, sorry, sorry. Food, everyone, basically. everyone went to jail. Let me cut to the chase. Everyone went to jail, and um, I um, 
I think I'd just come out and yeah, the funny thing is my brother put me on. So my brother was out at the time and I, I got picked up on, I think must have come down a couple R6s and da 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 da. You know, you know the jail routine, yeah. pick, pick me up. Do you get me? Breeze back to the hood. Like, and my brother's moving food at these yeah. times. Like, so while my brother's moving, moving food, he's like, give me an ants. Mm. And I didn't understand the game because I've just come out. Yeah. So I've like, and he's giving me like three things. Yeah. And said, yeah, when they call, just hit them, da, 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 do them this, this is the size, boom, boom, boom. So I've done that, done that in like four or five days. Like, I think he gave me a half ounce. Mm. And I just bought trainers, like. <laughs> and I come back to him and he goes, where's, where's, where's the money? I goes, what money? Mm. He goes, like, the, 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 like for the thing, like, because I spent it, man. Look, I bought these trainers, <laughs> bruv. I bought that, I bought a coat. Like, do you get what I'm saying? He was like, no, 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 no. That's got to come back to me. Yeah. You get to keep that. And I was like, <laughs> what? So I'll just keep... He was like, here, take this again. Gave me a Z. Mm. And um, it's like I didn't understand it. I think I bought an eight. Uh, yeah, but I wanted to stunt. Like, mm. I bought an A-Rex jacket. <laughs> I was like, 12 bills, like. He was like, no, 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 I'm not giving you nothing again. Like, you don't understand it. Like, I broke it proper down to me. Like, you get what I'm saying? This is more, it's not, I used to think, this is just easy. All you got to do is sell it. And he just keeps giving it to you. Like, I thought, like, where are you getting it? I don't even know where you're getting this from. Like, I was just happy. I was like, my guy, this is how we're doing it. Ask him, the first time I went back to him, I was so happy to see me, bro. It's done, isn't it? <laughs> Start it with my new clothes for me, yeah, yeah, just let me know, like, I've got more people there, this is, where's the, where's the peas? So I didn't, and, um, when that happened, I got to know a bit more of that, and then, um, I just transitioned, like, a couple months after that, it was just, and I was just following my brother's lead, and I've done that for a whole lot of my career, that's why you hear me say, my brother, my brother, my brother, I followed his lead, because we lived together, like, from five, six, in our own rooms, then when we left the streets, and the beef came in, we had to move and we lived together then. Do you get what I'm saying? But my transition came around then, around um, 18, 19. And at that time, were you saying? thinking, after you kind of got used to doing it, were you thinking, yeah, this, this is me for life, I know how to make money. Were you thinking the police are never going to catch me and I'm just going to... What were you thinking at that time? Because some people think, I'm going to be nah, the next Escobar and... Nah, I was always... Always had a get out plan. I was always humble. I was always um, being humble. Being humble, I, I was always a bit, I don't want to use the word scared, but let's lose, use the word scared. I, I had a lot of fear in me, like, for police, big sentences. I was always very, even from a young age, I was very much aware, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if even you heard my man even talk about, you get out the car, because I told that story about me getting out the car. Do you get what I'm saying? And I don't want to go too far into that right yeah. now, but where, where, where was I again? Yeah, basically, um, you and your brother, I said, did you want to do that for the rest of your career? You're saying yeah. you and your brother done it yeah. for a while. Yeah, you... it wasn't something that I wanted to do for the rest of my career. My point being, as I, I don't go off, I was always very much aware that this is going to stop somehow. Like, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? Like, and a few deaths and this made I mean, it. And, 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 and you mentioned there, like, as that happened, you and your brother had to move out because the beef had intensified. I mean, what is your recollection of... Because at that time, there was no beef within Hackney itself. Hackney kind of all got along, I'm assuming. Hackney, Hackney's always got along, bro. Yeah. Hackney's always got along. As I said, I, I, um, no one's going to tell you 100% that they was allowed in every single place in Hackney like me, bro. Mm. And I'm not saying that to stunt on anyone and da 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 because the man will tell you, he's from London Fields, mm. but will tell you on God, he's never seen Homerton like that. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? When they had dramas, I was, I, I bought a shop in Homerton. Mm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I was always good with what other people might perceive as the other side. One time, well, cause obviously me not living in, in, in Hackney and kind of going to know the politics. I remember I was on um, Swinnerton, just off Swinnerton Street, off, I forgot the road. And there's that uh, Maxine, big up Maxine. Uh, she, there was a, they had a shop, a Caribbean shop. Uh -huh. And I see you there. I'm like, I mean, at that time I didn't know you. I was like, oh, how come Tricky's here in home? And it's like moving casually. Ain't he meant to be London Fields kind of thing. So uh -huh. I was quite surprised by seeing you there at the time. Yeah, they did a, like, big them up, man. You've heard, you've heard Kemsey say a few things once or twice, yeah. like that. Tricky talks to me, but I don't listen to him, man. Mm. Da, 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 da. Like, I've always spoke to them and I've always showed them, like, you're never going to see me running behind you with anything. Do you get what I'm saying? Feel comfortable. I've seen them in places. There's some of them where I'm with um, my guys from London Fields and because of me and my word, nothing happens. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not bigging myself up. I'm just talking facts. Mm. Like, so 
they respect that and it's like you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna disrespect him and i never went around there on no bravado like i run this place mm. you, you, you just be respectful and let man and and the more you're open like that sometimes i know the, the user it tricky what are you doing man? Oh, what the, don't tell no one you're here mm. you get what i'm saying i'm like it's cool bro like did, 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 did that cause any sort of Friction of the people you hang with, like, nah, tr tricky kind of thing. That's why I'm onto sides. the people. That, that's not how I'm, why I'll be onto the people now. Because yeah. they'll have a lot of chat now. Yeah. Oh, Tricky's talking to the police. Mm. He's, he's dealing with that man for anti knife crime. No, I don't agree mm. with that. They didn't even agree. They didn't even disagree with me talking to man from Homer. Mm. Do you think they can say anything? No disrespect. I'm not. Bro, bro it's not disrespect if it's facts. This is mm. the new line. Mm. It can't be disrespectful if it's facts. Mm. They wouldn't say one thing. Do you think they didn't know that mm. I had a shop in Homer and I'm seeing man in Homer and all, all the time? Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Still going. Yo, bro, Hacks, where are you, bro? Mm. Going to the man's yard, licking them. Yeah, where'd you just come from? Oh, Trist, boom, boom, boom. I heard you was in that dance and there's a bit of Homer man in there. Yes, bro. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I never hit it. I never hit it. I was cool with man in Homer and um, Square, um, um, Mother's Square, um, Stoke New and Nightingale. There's, there's like Hackney, Hackney, bro. Like, I was never. Put on one block. They put me on one block because my brother was there and that's where I hung the most. Yeah. But I come from Pembury, moved to London Fields, but... So in, in, I guess in that whole era then, Hackney is kind of one. But before that is then you got this whole thing that's happened now with Tottenham. Uh -huh. What is your, not, not to get into deals, we don't want to get into too much of the deals of this happened, that, but what do you kind of remember of that period and that era and did you fear for your life at that time? 100%. We used to roll together. Yeah. Like, and we used to do a few robberies here and there together. Like, but um, then um, a murder happened from this side to that side. And then that sent everything left. Do you get what I'm saying? That sent everything left. And 100%, um, there was periods. This is why Hackney was the dopest place, because it was my safe haven. Mm. I didn't need to leave there. Girls. Um, um, where drink, whatever you need, clothes, trainers. I could get, I could do every single thing in Hackney, and I didn't need to leave, and I didn't. It was my, it was my, it was my safe place. Do you get what I'm saying? Because outside was everyone else. Yeah. But yeah, I'm very fearful. If I wasn't fearful, I wouldn't have moved. Yeah. I moved at a very young age, like, and with, uh, um, and my brother was so sure. He was like, you know, we're getting a place. Bam. Under, no, it's got to have underground parking. We're not walking through no doors. Mm. We're driving in, boom, boom, boom. We used to wait quickly all for the, um, the underground parking to shut, then drive in straight to the lift up. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, nervous every single day. Every single day, bro. And at that, at, at, at that time, was you on like, you know what, I have to grab one of them guys? Or was it like, you know, if they come for me, we, we was always the defenders. Yeah. We was always the defenders. And... Where it was with me, as I spoke about my guy Jamie before, I made sure I rolled with the strongest arm. Mm. I had a man that would beat you down in five seconds and a crazy man that would try and shoot you anywhere he was. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? That's how, and, and, and that's how I rolled. And if you know the names, you know the names. If you don't, you don't. I'm not going to put their names out because some of my yeah. guys, respectfully, bro, they've got kids now yeah. and, and they work. And I love them to bits. Like, that's all I can say to my guys. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, we speak... Like, I love them to bits, but I, I just don't want to say their name yeah, no, that's because I want them to, like, live, live how they're living now. Like, you get me with their missuses and going to work and do you get what I'm saying? And of course, I guess things intensified more once at a time then you guys came, became a bit of a music group and then you represented Hackney as Mashtown and then they had, obviously, what they had over there. Do you think that made things worse because now everyone's visible, YouTube is there, everyone's posting mm. videos. Do you think that made things, made the beef worse? Mm. When well, you don't really know someone, you might say, yeah, I've heard of that tricky guy, but mm. now, right, okay, mm. that's tricky. Did you ever feel mad about do you know, do you, do you know, I'm not going to even mention what ones, but it's so funny, like, you know, some of them have probably seen me in the flesh once yeah. in their whole life, yeah. in 20 plus years, and will tell you, I hate that tricky guy. Mm. You don't even know him, my guy when you really think about it. Do you get what I'm saying? And vice versa. <laughs> I've had to take time and think like, you know, do you know what? I don't even know you, my guy. Do you get what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, it's... Cause I said this with you, I think it's something that, I don't know, it, it really pains you. Cause I've had a few back and forth with you via major things, Pete, cause sometimes- All right, let me be honest, let me be honest, let me be honest. I was there, bro, and not too many men can tell you this, bro. I promise you. There's, they say Hackney and Tottenham, but it was mostly 
London Fields against them, man. Yeah. And Tottenham, Edmonton, and they'll tell yeah. you every time they was coming down, it was like Hopper Man from Pembury and um, London Fields. That was the main yeah. places we're going. That's yeah. where that's where they was right. And you know it pains me because when you you've had me and made you think you big him up. We've had um, private convos, and it, 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 when I hear the names or this, that, and the other, because I was there from the start. Do you get what I'm saying? And I see that a lot of people um, play on it and talk about it to to get I don't know to get to get some sort of hype but because man was traumatized by it I'm trying to get to it oh I'm glad I got there now yeah. because man was traumatized by it man don't want to talk about it no more mm. bro is what's what's done is done like you get what we don't even need to talk about it mm. do you get what I'm saying like so that that's why it pains me yeah. and I've lost friends I've lost homies over it bro like yeah. do you get what I'm saying and when you look back you think Oh, that could have been avoided. Yeah. He, he kind of could have been here. Because look at everyone now. Everyone just wants to live their life. Mm. And that's not fair on certain men that have gone. Yeah. Like, do you get what I'm saying? So that's why sometimes I'm like, nah, I don't want to talk about it. Just leave me alone with it. Like, do you know what I mean? I guess looking at it now then, so in terms of the work you're doing, especially with the views, right? And that, that's the point I was kind of making. I think when me and you had a bit of a disagreement, was that I was saying, like, right, you know what? That would be a madness. If Say the disagreement. Let's go. Let's right, go cool. for it. So basically, I think um, you, you you do your podcast. We'll get we'll get yeah. to, we'll get to what you're doing the podcast in the podcast in the, in the moment. You're doing your podcast, and I think you've mentioned that. Oh, like you mentioned names. You've done a podcast talking about the beef over there. How you know what? I was very grown. respectful when I done it, yeah, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you grown, and then I think I put in a comment say, you know what? Because remember, before I'm even doing big ego, I'm taking inspiration. Oh, right, this, mm. this thing, this for the culture, they're doing this mad, and. I said, I put a comment like, rah, it will be mad. Because the way you kind of said it is that it's like, yeah, you're, you're cool, you're squashing kind of everything. The way it came across. Squashing to me. it to myself, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but I thought you meant, so I was like, rah, it would be mad if. Me spray, and. Yes, yeah, say it, let's go. spray would ever be on that thing. And you come out, Bobby, don't get involved in the thing. I'm like, oh, tricky. I'm yeah, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm cool and I know this. And this is why I'm with it, because everyone thinks that I like everyone. Mm. And I know it can seem like that, like, mm. but there's some things that is like, I just think better left unsaid. Mm. I, I, I'm going to be respectful when I talk. Well, I was before. I was mad respectful. Mm. And then a man spoke about my name in disrespect. And I thought, didn't you see that time when uh, I was showing you like, a bit of respect? Mm. And not even him personally. That's why he even touched me. But um, it was... Yeah, it just... It, 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 it's, a, it's a conversation that always throws me, innit? Yeah. Because you could, you, could, you could say as much as you want, but you can't say it all. Mm. And that's why you always be... Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I don't know. What I was getting at is though, is that with what you do now in terms of youth, because you, man, like, come on, man, you do better because this is the thing that we went through, right? Uh -huh. Isn't it a thing that we've, we've lost people? Everyone's lost people. Wouldn't you think that when, when you heard me speak, wouldn't you think that was a... Uh, um Olive branch. There you go, Olive my branch, guy. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's not go on like Tricky's not... And, and as I said, bro, let's go back to it. Mm. No one didn't let me live because my, like, like, my brothers didn't play no games. Mm. So they know where they know me from. Mm. They know where I'm coming from. Mm. So when you see me like this now, they should be like, wow, hats off. Mm. Because Tricky can control 20 men and make 20 men jump on your ass mm. in five minutes before. Do you get what I'm saying? And now he's going down this road. Big him up. Yeah. Big him up. Jeez, a, a, a lot of th I'm not going to stunt on it. A mm. lot of them do. Mm. But a lot of them don't. Do you get what I'm saying? And it seems to be the ones that I've helped, as you see, bro. Like, mm. uh, th th Loons ain't the only man that I, I, I gave a Rolex to. Mm. I've never had a deal in my life, bro. Yeah. I'm buying man Rolexes. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, sorry to, sorry no, to no, go it's off. Cool. Like, yeah. It's like, for me, yeah, and you might totally disagree, right? You're one of the funniest people I've ever met in my life, hands down. I remember the first time we went on a prison match together. Mm. I remember back to my Mrs. Ra, babe, this guy Tricky is so fucking funny, mm. right? On the other hand, Young Spray is one of the funniest people I've ever met as well. Mm. I was saying, in another life, you guys would be friends, making everyone joke and laugh. Now, me with my Moses hat and Jesus hat, is there ever a day when it's like, we're pushing to our 40s, 45 oh. and so on later on in life. Like, I see you, we just shake hands and say, you know what, we're, we're grown for this. You don't have to be friends. Not after, he, not after he disrespected me. He just put the clock back so far back because I thought, 
I've, I've been on platforms for like four years and yeah. anytime I've been very wary that they might see what I'm talking about. So I think, why do you think there was no response to what I said before on my platform? Yeah. Because I spoke so kind of them. Mm. You can't respond to kind, you can't respond bad to kindness. Yeah. Well, Tricky better not speak our name, you know, you better stop saying nice things. Because mm. that's all he's doing right now. I don't like this tricky guy, you know. Mm. All I'm doing is helping the kids. Yeah. When I heard him say that, I was I was in a, um, a working in a pro. Yeah. Pup sorry for those that don't know, pupil referral unit. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what don't you like what I'm doing, bro? Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? And when I said like, we are not the same, I meant it. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? After he went and disrespected. Yeah, I didn't. No I, I just thought there was no reason for it, yeah. right? And that's what annoyed me. I thought the whole country knows. No one wouldn't be surprised if they sat on a podcast and didn't hear him bigging me up. Yeah. No one's not going to say, why? Tricky's one of the first men I see doing this podcast thing. Mm. Why ain't he bigging him up? No, yeah. they would understand. Yeah. They would fully understand. So I think to even call out my name and um, to do it in front of a man that I F with, it makes mm. him, you may judge her uncomfortable easily, yeah. easily uncomfortable. Mm. Oh, Tricky's my guy. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, very young. You made a guy very uncomfortable. Like, so even to do that was, and I think that just, I didn't like you anyway, and I'm just keeping it secretive. I'm just keeping it to myself. There's so many people I don't like, bro. I just keep it to myself. I don't follow you, I don't follow, bro. I, it, it, trust me, I always say like, if I had a girlfriend, bro, and she had a page of cakes, if I, if I stop seeing her, I unfollow the cake page, bro. <laughs> like, you know when they have little pages for their dogs? Mm. I, I've unfollowed the dogs page before. <laughs> because that dog page, I, I'm not seeing with the owner. Because mm. I'm not seeing with the owner no more. So mm. everyone gets some follows. It's like, I don't want to see nothing. This is why I unfollow certain pages because I think, you know, I don't want to see. I, it, it gets me to a certain level. And mm. because of the disrespect, I think, I've held my mouth for so long. Mm. And I don't disrespect anyone. Because I thought, like, do you get what I'm saying? I mean, when, 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 once it's happened, because I freaking, someone said, Bobby, go, go to Tricky's um, stories. I'm like, what's happened? And I've seen you've gone in. I'm like, what happens? I've had to go back and see. First time. Let us let us know in, in in four years yeah. of me doing podcasts. Yeah. This is the first time and first uh, time only. Like, yeah. and w was it just that it triggered you so much that you had to? Okay, cool. Let's be honest. Big facts, ego media today. Yeah. Why didn't I do it to Loons? Yeah. When Loons put up, bro, why is Tricky working with the police and yeah. doing? I don't agree with that. Why didn't I do it to him, bro? He didn't even trigger me that much. I just yeah. thought, he triggered me but behind closed doors, so I yeah. called him. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Or, or we're talking, do you get what I'm saying? Mm. You're, not, you're not close to me like that. Mm. Like, with Loons, it's, it's, it's a family situation. Yeah. With uh, all me and my guys have had arguments before. Like, it's not, no one, no, no one doesn't want to kill each other. Everyone's going to be here tomorrow. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? It's because of, me, I always say, I don't mind what's said, I mind who's saying it. Yeah. When I think you, like, do you get what I'm saying? And I'm here to put even, because the first thing I said was, we're not the same. Yeah. We, we haven't grown the same. We haven't been the same. Like, I, I said, I, what did I say? I put people on. Yeah. 100%. There's about 20 men. You see Loons' story and say, yeah, oh, Tricky bought me a what? Or oh, Tricky bought me a car. Da, da, da. There's so many of those stories, bro. They're, they're, everyone just likes to be quiet yeah. of, of that, though. They'll rather put up pictures on Instagram and say, yeah, got it out of the mud. No, I helped you get it out of the mud. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? We're not the same. He was, as he says, he steps and busts his guns. I don't. Mm. <laughs> There's not one, I'm gonna tell you again, bro. There's not one person, and if they do, you can be like, oh, he loves Tricky to bits. Mm. If they come and tell you Tricky was outside busting his gun, busting his gun, busting his gun. Mm. Never was, so I admit, it. it's not a problem. You're not, you're not, you're not, um, and, and, and this is the part what helps that kid coming up who gets that pressure, mm. this is where I'm taking it, bro, who gets that pressure of someone saying, you didn't bust your gun. Do you know in the rankings of gangster, bro, do you see the, the gun busser? Mm. Do you know where he is ranked? Mm. Is he not ranked under the man who buys them, buys the dingers, buys the bikes, pays for man's bills, pays for man to stay in yards? Is he not below him? And funny you should say that. Is he not there? below no, him, no, bro? Yeah, 100%. And I'm not saying you're, to, and let's put it out there. Mm. You're not saying he's below me. Mm. I'm just saying that's, that, 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 that way the gangster, um, the whole gangster thing is set up. Yeah. That man who just goes out and busts his gun doesn't have three country lines like myself, or oh, one and a half in each. Let's talk if we're going to talk. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm here for it. Because I want people at the end to see what trick he's doing now and say, oh, so that's what he's got to change from. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Bro, the supply for my whole block. Mm. The first one with, like, my, my brother and, and, and CH went to jail at these times. But the first man with that, that big LFP, so it was mine, bro. Yeah. 
Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I've done a different job. So immediately, so you know I'm not going off talking to my man, we wasn't the same. Mm. I know you was busting your gun. I know that's what you was doing because that's the level of gangster where you was. I wasn't that level of gangster, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, I was more... He was a number nine striker. He was Jason Yule, and 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 I was um um um. What's his name? Who's who? Who's strikers? Jason who's, Yule, though. Like. There you go. <laughs> who who's the who's the, who who was um who was um I, I'm I'm Pat Rice. Yeah. Do you hear what I said? I didn't say Arsene Wenger because mm. someone was Arsene Wenger. I'm Pat Rice, mm. the number two. So Pat Rice is in a higher position than Jason Yule. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you're a striker. If you're a shooter, you're a shooter, you're a shooter. And I'll keep saying these things because I want people to understand that is nothing to be proud of. Mm. So I'm, it's not like I backed up and for and, and I felt any any disrespect by that. I'll tell you out of my own mouth, bro. Mm. Like I can make the steppers assemble. Do you get what I'm saying? That was my job, and that's how I, I, I didn't I didn't try and live another life. I don't run around telling people, "Raw, yeah, you know me." Da, da, da. God willing, never been shot or stabbed in my life, bro. And funny enough, do you I get what I'm saying? Well. Funny enough, I mean, I must have posted a picture when I landed in Jamaica, and I put the caption, "She loved bad man," and the hyper message, "Oh, behave, man, you're a good dude." And I said, "I'm happy. I'm to happy be. to be. I'm I happy said, to I'm be. Happy to be. They're all happy to be because there's nothing that they're gonna say. They can't say that I didn't roll around with." I'm not going to say killers and go deep like that, mm. but the baddest of the baddest. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And have man step to you in two, 0 0.2 seconds if you even whisper something wrong in my ear. Mm. This is probably why they're doing all the whispers now, bro, because mm. they can see that I'm totally off the roads. Mm. And, and it can't be no disrespect because anything I'm talking about is all 15, 20 years ago, yeah. 10 years ago. Because you can be like, hey, so why didn't no one say anything to Tricky then? Mm. Because they knew how man had it patterned, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? He knew how man had it patterned. But now, it's just the whispers. And one man might hear a man disrespect you. So everyone thinks they can do it. And that's where that come from, from him. Because I've disrespected him in the past. Like, hands up. But this was in my music days. But by the time I've been doing podcasts, I've made sure anytime anyone's asked me about that, I've shied away from it. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? He, his, boss was a, he, his boss was a snitch. I don't talk about it and go, and don't worry, I'm not going to go into it and say what case he done and da 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 But my point being is, I keep your name out, out of my mouth, so keep mine out of your mouth. Respectfully. I only talk about people that I like. So you think that I like everyone. That's the trick, isn't it? Mm. I just don't talk about people that I don't like. It's a waste of my time. Mm. You see how my energy changes as soon as I'm talking about people that I don't like. Mm. It, it's easy, bro. Trust me, and that was the easiest thing for me to... But it's needed sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you see that? That was so refreshing for me. Yeah, yeah it was mad refreshing. <laughs> I thought, no, nah, sometimes tell someone to shut up. Like, because everyone thinks you're an idiot, isn't it? But like I said, in the, in the, for, for me, like I said, in, the, in, 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 a different, in a different universe, in a different dimension, you guys would have been amazing. I'm going to talk for world. you and say, a year before that, mm. you said, how about you not talking? Remember you hit me yeah. up? And we had the talk. This was a year before even that drama. Yeah. So, you're, um, and I'm saying that to say, your vision on this has been for a very long time. Yeah. To where man was being like, no, but we don't even talk like that. Mm. Where man's having a conversation about it now. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I mean, that'll take us now into a bit more positive stuff for the culture. I mean, we're seeing podcasts everywhere now. Come on, bro. Everyone's Give me the flowers while I'm here. Because if I pass, <laughs> trust everyone's me. Everyone's doing it. I'm seeing it, especially all the old schools. I mean, like I say, Spray's got his one as well now. Yeah. Pound Sterling's got one. I started Big Ego. Yeah. Is that, but the very first that I saw was, yeah. I mean, the people doing it. Yeah. But the very first how how, how, how old is your child? My child, she's, which one? This one? This no, one? the little one. She's free. It'll be four in September. I remember because you were supposed to come on for the culture, and yeah. while you're saying it, yeah. um, you was going to um, antenatal classes. Is it antenatal, yeah, yeah, sounds like yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, but yeah, but go that, on that anyway. Go. But I got, I got, I got, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. I got a bone, bone to pick with that, with that as well. Anyway, but yeah. we'll get into it for. So it was like, yeah, what, what's what's the, what's the podcast thing? Because people were doing it, but it's the first one that the man them. Mm. Other people were doing it. Where, Mm. On the road and that, but what made you decide to do it? Because you're a pioneer, whether mm. people like to meet it or not, because you led the way. Mm. Oh, please, Bobby, sorry. Oh, it's a, hey, when we play that back, let him just put that in twice. They won't mind. But um, 
Do you know what it was? It was coming away from music. Mm. Um, I've always known, as I said, bro, from the streets, I always know I can get a little hold over people. I, know I, I talk well in, in different rooms with different sorts of people, people that go to university, people that go to college. Just, do you know what I'm saying? One of my best mates used to go uni. So I knew I could talk to people on different levels. So I thought, but I wanted to talk with a message. Like, and if you notice all the Put For The Culture episodes, it was one's about weed addiction, one's about snitching, one's about um, beef on the road, one's about this, one's about um, a young 15 year old that passed away. But I just thought, I want to talk to the people mm. and I want to try and control them, not control them like, so to speak, but let them hear from a man who they know has really been there. They don't question me for that. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you're never going to get a man sit down and question me and say, Tricky didn't do this. Tricky didn't move bricks. Tricky didn't buy whips. Tricky didn't buy this. They're never going to say that. Mm. My point being, so you know I'm not going off, I knew I had a certain power and I wanted to use it in a totally different way. And I saw, um, what was it called? Black, blacklisted podcast. I went on blacklisted podcast and I listened to myself because there was no visual, but I listened to myself back and I thought, you kind of speak all right where people can kind of get you straight away. Like, mm. and my whole energy. And I thought, yeah, man, let me just try it. And then the, one of the guys from blacklisted found Lippy yeah. and was like, I think this guy might be decent. And I saw his video where he was like, yeah, I was running away and da 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 da. Mm. And I thought, this is the guy. Like, do you get what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, and I just thought, let me try it. And there was no one, and, and, and this is no disrespect to anyone, there was no one doing it. There was mm. guys that are doing it now that was like, bro, what's that, what's that little podcast thing you're doing? Mm. Six months later, it was like, let me try that little podcast thing you're doing. Mm. So it was like, yeah, man, and respectfully, man, I think everyone needs to, like, just, it's, yeah, it's respect, bro, it's respect, because I, we was doing it, and I don't even know how I was doing it. I haven't even got that full story to say, oh, I fought like this, and da 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 I just thought... I want to give a message and I want to do it on um, somewhere where we can crack jokes and this, that and the other. I'll be honest and tell you, the first episode of For The Culture, Jaja knows, Lippy knows, it didn't come out, and Tristan knows. <laughs> yeah, bro, we was For The Culture, and it was for weed, <laughs> um, um, alcohol, we was getting drunk. <laughs> bro, I chatted bare shit in Jaja's ear. I called him in the morning and I was like, yeah, we're going to have to cancel that, man, because... And then we had to do it again, like, more respectful and say we're not going to be sitting down with weed blazing in front yeah. of us and do you get what i'm saying and but yeah was, there was no real it, plan it, to it it was the pioneering podcast it was doing well why did it stop what happened because it was a point then i see more people things coming and when things were coming you guys were still doing your thing and it just came to an end because where others have kind of taken it i feel like for the culture I should have been there as the number one podcast in the uk yeah yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. but i just think um um, priorities, mm. you're working with different people, like, do you get what I'm saying? Um, Miles and Loons have a relationship where they know each other from the mud, yeah. from, so it's, it, everything's easy, isn't it? I think lockdown happened as well. Yeah. And where lockdown happened, as I said, that's where they can come into their realm, they know each other. I'll just come to my yard, let's yeah. just put this here and then boom, 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 boom. It's, it, it, it's, it's not the same, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? So, um, but no excuses. Like I, I, I've taken a, I've kind of taken a, a different road anyway. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I'm, 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 I'm happy for everyone. Yeah. I promise you, I am from a distance. But I, all I, all you sit down and think is, just remember who showed you this way. Mm. Just remember who you was watching before you even sat down and thought. Let me even do this. That's all. That's all. That's all I want. I don't even want a medal for it. Mm. Well, I, well, I do actually. If GRM, <laughs> yeah, if GRM or something want to make a pioneers medal for podcasts, I'll take it. But you know what? You just give me an idea. A documentary about podcasts in the UK. Mm. Come on, bro. We, 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 we can work on that. Still. Come on, bro. But so you, I mean, you went from that, and then uh, Truth Be Told came about, mm. and then one of the most, um, I guess, best podcasts too. I would say of the interviews I've seen. Uh, which the one you done first with your father and mm. also the one with uh, Mega Man. Yeah. How did those come about? What was the idea behind that? The idea behind that was exactly what it says on the scene, isn't it? Truth be told, like, let's, yeah. let's just tell the truth, man. Because uh, as I told you, a lot of people um, tell the truth, but they tell the truth about the good side, the mm. good sides. Don't you notice that? Mm. And people, when a man, a man might tell you about um, the truth about the streets, but he won't go too deep in 
how he got his ass beat down on the streets or da 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 like or a man shot him down or I done that done this. So we I just thought and I didn't want the and no disrespect to you because you're great at what you do. Mm. But I, it, everyone's filled, ain't everyone's filled. I just knew I wanted to have truthful yeah. conversations. And the truthful conversations that in that are part of my life. So my dad sprung to mind straight away. Yeah. And I just thought, let me just talk to my dad. Because I know that he, with mumsies, we all feel the same way about mumsies. Dads, everyone's relationship is a bit sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> with that, they'll be like, how long you got? With Mumsy, they know straight away. Mm. So I just thought, and um, with Mega, we've always had disagreement, but it's been like, like with my man, it's been really from the streets. With Mega, mm. it's been really nothing. Yeah. Just you hung with people that I didn't like. Mm. Uh, let, let's, let's go there, innit? But, um, and another one with Alia, I just thought, try and have, we, we all think, because you're a content creator mm. now, Try and have conversations that other people ain't having. Mm. Plain and simple. And that's me just getting straight to the point yeah. without doing what I usually do and dipping around. Like, yeah, just try and do what other people are not doing. And I think I achieved that with the one with um, my dad. And respectfully, how many people did you see sit with their parents after that? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, man. And I think also, for, for, for me, you're someone who I will know at times can be, like I said, from the moment I met you back in 2018, you're someone who will be active online. And then I notice when, well, it's tricky. So I've even messaged you one time, yo, I'm just checking in to see you are. But oh, go on, I can't, I'm not seeing you online. You're not just sort of cheerful. I mean, so, and you're kind of a big advocate of saying, you know what, sometimes I need to time out. Mm. I need time out because men, especially, we go through mental stuff mm. and depression and things that we might not be able to talk about. I mean, talk through like, that, that state of mind of being able to, you know what, I'm going to take a back seat. Yeah, and, 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 and that's where, even with the, as I was saying, I'm talking about with, for the culture and that, and you would be like, what happened? And da, 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 da. Sometimes it's just life, bro. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? I was o honest when I, when I went through a breakup in my relationship. Mm. I was honest when I just needed a little space. Do you get what I'm saying? And that ended up being, now I'm here now talking and it ended up being the best year of my life. Mm. That year when I took a break off, and this was 2020, I didn't mm. do no filming, bro. I think I done, did, did I? Or I think I done my dad's one in last year, innit? I think so. 2021, bro. I done it 2021 um, April. Yeah. So it's like a year now. Mm. That's when, I, that's when I put that one out. It's like a year old. And, um, so, yeah, sometimes I just, yeah, it come from, I, I was just making excuses certain times yeah. of why I'm not online. <laughs> no, bro, I'm, I just couldn't, I just didn't like, sometimes, and it's, we don't like to admit it, but just seeing another man, I don't get, I don't, I don't, I don't ever see cars, houses, and this, that, just seeing a man, just seeing you, and it's no disrespect to you, I love you, bro. But probably just seeing you with your missus and your child in a happy world, mm. and I ain't, I ain't got that, and I want that, mm. that can send me left. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Someone could die, bro. Uh, my empathy level, I always talk about my empathy level, is very high. Yeah. Someone could die, he's got nothing to do with me. Like, something, Loons could have told you this. If he was after me, he would have said, yeah, yeah, yeah that nigga. Because <laughs> you know how Loons, he loses, Loons, and he, oh, fuck them, you don't know them. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? But with me, my, my empathy level's high so I can not know someone mm. and be affected and you'll be like, how did that affect you, Tricky? That's nothing to do with you. Mm. Why did you take three months offline for that? It, it, it just sends me left. I've never been able to, and I've been honest about that, I've never been able to handle um, people passing away and, mm. and, and, and this, that and the other. Um, just mentally sometimes not there. Mm. And I think that's why any time you can go to any of my work, it's 100%. Yeah. And it's a hundred percent dope. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? You know why? Because I only sit in front of people when I'm a hundred percent. If I if I felt eighty, I wouldn't even be here, bro. Mm. Nah, bro. And, and and a lot of people have to do that. Just take that time away and come here. Don't front through it. And because you don't, you know, I don't put up captions every day. Life, life is hell, but it's gonna get better. Mm. It's like, nah, bro, that means you want attention. I don't mm. want attention. I literally disappear. Mm. And they'd be one, you've done it, like, uh, um, Chucky's done it before, Heba, like there's a couple of girls that will do it and just, are you all right? Because some people that know me mm. just know how I get in it. I'm, when, when, I'm, when I'm quiet, we've got a problem. Yeah. When I'm loud, we've got no problem. <laughs> Look how loud I am. We've yeah. got no problem with mm. no... When I'm quiet, we've got a problem somewhere. Do you get what I'm saying? Even after I posted that, that thing about, um, with my man, sorry to even go back to it, 
I disappeared offline. People were like, someone even wrote me. I was like, one little argument with Spray and Tricky's just blood. <laughs> I don't even care how mm. people think now because I'm so comfortable with it myself. I could just be like, nah, man. Like, sometimes I'm not in the headspace to deal with you people. And you need to be in that sort of headspace to deal with these people that's out here and, 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 and online. And it's not even the dark ones, mm. sometimes even the ones that come with a smile, mm. they even jar me. Mm. Yo, bro, bro, yes, but... <laughs> you know you don't mean that, bro, because if I call you, you're going to let me ring out. Mm. Stop doing that. Do you get what I'm saying? Even mm. that jars me sometimes, and it's like, just getting... And I'm four years deep in, still learning, yeah. so it's just getting to grips with, all right, tricky, don't let that affect you and take you off your work for like three, four, mm. five months. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? But I'll say take it or take me off my work, but... I went and worked in a school, I was working in schools, I've done a seven week program, six week program, eight week program, so people ain't seeing me online, but the people in the schools will put their hands up and say, I'll see him here every day, yeah. every morning with the kids, and you work with kids, you know how free they are, yeah. so I wasn't just got caught in a different world, and it was like, nah man, these kids are just free, yeah. this is just open, like, do you get what I'm saying, they don't want nothing from you, man, they, they, like, they really don't want nothing, there's no yeah. sneaky business, there's nothing to watch out for here, yeah. do you get what I'm saying, and they call me sir, yeah. Oh, if they call me so on Instagram, bro, I ain't leaving. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? So, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll get back into the podcast and what you got coming next. But we're going to go back a little bit into Mashtown era uh, music. You guys are not giving enough flowers, would you say? No, nah, not at all, bro. Mm. Not at all. I, I think with us, bro, and at that time... At that time, I want to state the biggest facts. There's not one rapper that had a bigger chain than me, bro. Yeah. Not one. Not in Hackney. 100 million percent. Mm. I was the only one. I was the only one. That big LF piece cost me 10 racks, bro. Mm. Two backs for the L, two backs for the F. Mm. Uh, I stacked the F, I mean the L, for two and a half racks. Mm. Two and a half racks there, a bag and a half for the chain. Mm. Cost me about ten and a half. Mm. I bought it off my brother when my brother went away about yeah. 2003. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I, um... The, the 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 watches, all the brick talk, and every all the talk we was talking, we was doing. Mm. You heard you you heard loons. It's it's facts, bro. It's big facts, and we brought all of that into. You heard him say even about the source magazine. Mm. We're seeing rappers, bro. And rappers got the same watches as man, bro. Jar rule. The every little thing, all, all, all that. Man, seeing them videos saying, right, oh, he's got my watch. Do you get what I'm saying? But we brought that into rap. Mm. Do you get me? Without bringing the American side mm. and just bringing um, a kind of nice side. Like, mm. I wasn't really on that, yeah, man, we'll kill you. And did it, did it, did it. Mm. I just used to talk that. Bravado. That bravado, ego talk. Like, mm. do you get what I'm saying? Like, 10 bags in a drought in the first two weeks. And do you get what I'm saying? So, those who know, know. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, what do you think? I mean, um, Louis said you guys were blackboard. Do you think that's what actually happened? Because oh. someone put that in a comment and someone said, nah, man, if you've got good music, it will resonate. No, 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 no. No one did an F with it. There's people that I speak to now that was like, yeah, Tricky, I was in them offices like when you, man, man rolled. Man literally had to roll up to offices, yeah? Mm. Man literally had to roll up to offices to get our stuff played. Yeah. And even when we left their offices, I think we, our stuff got played like, we was, we was rolling together, bro. You imagine these little guys hanging out in one house like, when's he gonna come on? <laughs> oh, 12 o'clock. <laughs> this thing come on about three in the morning, bro. We're like, we don't even want to see our video then, man. Like, we're like, hey, what's this? You're forgetting it's yours. But yeah, we was blackballed heavy, bro. We was, we was pulling up like 30 deep, bro, to like channel you. Did they give you any reasons why they didn't play it? Because we were like, the guys to ourselves, mm. but with the other guys um, from over in Tottenham, they messed with everyone. Yeah. So everyone was cool to just mess with them, whether they be from South, North, West, this place, that place. And but our own, our own um, within us, we, we, we just kept to ourselves, but we got blackballed heavy by everyone, bro. We couldn't even, some, someone wouldn't even take our CD, bro. Yeah. They wouldn't take our CD. They, I think the first person who Openly put us on was Westwood. Okay. Yeah, I think. That was a crib session. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not crib session when he got going to the Westwood studio. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, on some big baggy jeans, were, and I really got dressed <laughs> for that day. I got dressed, bro. I had baggy said, jeans. Yeah, this is it. I had baggy. There's one where I got the black shirt on and the rollie. Mm. Yeah, but below that is baggy jeans <laughs> and black Air Forces, bro. So catch that swag. And I, I, we was like, yo, I was like, you know, man, get ready, you know. Mm. And that's how man got ready, bro. It was serious. Like everyone was. And do you think that's what kind of made 
someone like I guess Margs kind of kind of stopped because Asko was making a bit of, of a resurgence just before yeah. he, he, he went away, still kind of carrying the flag a little bit. But you think that's the sort of thing that kind of made but it's like two. It. it was two different eras. Mm. So when you're talking about the Mashtown era, mm. um, Asko wasn't in the Mashtown era. Yeah. So when he's got involved with Mashtown, when Mashtown is um, losing its legs, yeah. do you get what I'm saying? He's branching off. And then he's making a new era for himself. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Because it's two separate eras of music, if yeah. you understand. Like, Asko was in the, 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 like the Fredo era. Match yeah. time weren't around in them yeah. times there. Do you get what I'm saying? But for me, because I was doing everything that we rap about and this, that and the other and leaving shoots and getting stopped by police and, um, and getting money laundering cases just by having money at a video shoot and yeah. leaving and friends come in and get, we were getting stopped like all three, four times a day. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? That's what came into it a lot. And with that and the blackball, and it was like, oh gosh, this is this is long. Mm. Yeah, this is long, man. And I think oh, when everyone ducked out, I think Marg was the only one mm. that just dropped probably a tape a year and just mm. stayed relevant. Did, did you see the music industry reaching the heights it has now then? No way, no way. Who was the who was the no, no way, man. The biggest thing in our in 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 our world was so solid. Mm. Let's be honest. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, th these men are men are doing what they're doing, but for, with our own pocket. Mm. Seeing them man get TTs, all right, cool, cool, cool. Man's gonna do that. Man's gonna do that. Doing all of that, not knowing <laughs> that these men have done it for getting record deals, and mm. these men are getting known, and these men are going places, and this, that, and the other, and we've got everything but the place to put our music and take it somewhere. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's, I think it's always, it's, the blame's got to be shared. It can't always, it can't all be industry, industry, industry. It's, it's, it's still with us. Yeah. One thing I'll, I'll say that I've never said before, one thing with Mashtown is there was too many bosses. Yeah. If you look at everyone, you can see everyone's got a, 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 an attitude that, oh, I want to be the boss. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? No one didn't want to just listen. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I hear that. Until it was time to pay, then it was up to me and Hypo. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, that era's gone, music has changed, and then, like I said, I think this era, there's music, and this is the podcast era, because everyone's made, even people call me, oh, Bobby, I want to start a podcast. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. mate, I only started yeah. a year ago, I'm on the learning myself as well, yeah. this is what i done. Now you're back, you're fresh, mm. I, I see you're working, yeah. I see you've got lots of interviews lined yeah. up. The last time you put them all up on uh, Link Up TV, you're doing your own channel. This yeah, time. it's gonna go. It's gonna go. My, it's gonna go on my own channel. Yeah. Like yeah, just because I don't. I don't think um, I was. We was getting the numbers and hundred k's, hundred and fifty k's for the culture yeah. on our own channel, same like we was getting with um, Link Up. Yeah. So it didn't really make no difference. Yeah. And like, if I'm honest, like a lot of these people got ulterior motives yeah. like that's that, that that's that's that they come with a smile but they're not that nice yeah. so yeah so how, what, what, how many have you shot so far what are we looking forward to about eight to ten but it's different ones and different conversation it's called okay let's talk okay. so it's different conversations and conversations with people that are within um our culture yeah. that are doing the the work behind the scenes do you get what i'm saying because i don't really it's not so much about the people it's about the story yeah. with me in it so hopefully getting and not stories out of them just what they're doing how they are yeah. how they're living where we're going where you're trying to take it yeah. how you've been just open talk do you get what i'm saying because i'm not going to be the only one being um honest and open about my mental state certain times or this that and the other and everyone's going to come and sit here in front yeah. well boy you know you see my thing like that. Mm. Sometimes you're talking to a man and I'm watching your show mm. and I'm seeing you talk to a man and I'm looking at him, bro. And I'm saying, you're in a, not in a dark place, but you're in a bad place. Yeah. Do you get me? I can see the front. Mm. There's certain ways you sit. There's certain ways you move mm. when the whole ego's dropped. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? You know when a man's like, yeah, well, he's protecting himself. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? From anything that you might say or do. Yeah. Trust me, so I can see, I can read body language certain time and I think, look at a man's eyes and you think, you're not in a good, you can look at my eyes right now and see, I smile with my eyes bro, I'm happy. So you get what I'm saying? say, there's eight, eight to ten, so it's going to be like a series or it's going to be continuous, like a weekly thing? Yeah, I'm only doing this so I know I can just put them out now and mm. I'm, 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 I'm ahead of time, yeah. but it's going to be continuous. Yeah man, I want to, there's a, there's a, you know, from the work we do, there's a million conversations mm. to be had, that's the beauty of this thing. There's a conversation all the time to be had. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's something I want to do. Um, documentaries is another thing I've been doing behind the scenes, trying to 
um, sort that out and come through with a few of them. Because mm -hmm. anytime we talk about documentaries, everyone always says, Reggie Gates! Mm -hmm. But that nigga ain't, ain't, ain't done a documentary <laughs> in all 40 years, bro. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, right, Reggie's still holding the title. <laughs> You get it? Reggie's mm. like, Reggie, but he's, I, I rate him. He's mm. one of the guys that I follow and, and, and kind of follow in that section, the blueprint. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? We need, we need new faces. We need new faces, man. We need new faces. Like, they need to put up, tr trust me, man. And congratulations to you, bro, because yeah, my name and vice versa, like, my, my name doesn't come. My name, I, they don't come to me and say my name without mentioning your name sometimes. Yeah. And say, yeah, yeah, what we doing? Because we're kind of yeah. doing the same thing. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, well, come on, man. I'll be honest. Like, we bucked in a meeting the other day. And quickly, just to um, come towards the ending and just talk about that meeting. So, that meeting, we, we had a meeting with the police, basically, yeah. right? Yeah. And they're talking about how they want to help our community. They want to sort of take away the stigma of the police being the bad people. We want to stop all the killings and knifing. So, one of the things, people say, oh, how can you be working with the police and so on? What are your views? And then also, one of them, like I said, the police said to me, me and you, they invited us to go on a stake with them, basically. They'll come with us and see how we police. I've declined that to say, you know what, let me let me let me wait a little bit. Cause I'm hoping that they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna arrest younger killer in front of me. Mm. <laughs> and younger killer gonna turn around and go, rah! Yeah, Bobby and Chicky. <laughs> <laughs> you know what his brother's his older brother on the street is gonna be like, so tell me, who was dead? Yeah. Five officers. Bobby and and tricky, <laughs> that tricky. Yeah, it was a bit. It, it was a bit much. But what, what what it is is that they see how we stand within our community, mm. and me and you, and I'm talking for you as well. We're there to help our guys first mm. and make sure they get a fair deal. Make yeah. sure things can happen right for them. That's why I'm there. Mm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I've never been a snitch in my life. I don't need to say it. It, it sounds horrible with me even yeah. saying it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's, it's something that I'll continue to do yeah. for anti-knife crime, because for what we was there for the other day, um, Child Q, mm. I'm not just going to post about these things. I'm going to go on. You know, we're sitting with commissioners. Yeah. We're sitting with big boys that mm. make the actual decisions. So I ain't sitting with your local B Bobby on the beat. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Pardon the pun. I mean, see Bobby now. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> but like, yeah, 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 it's something. And I guess that's why you and Loon kind of had a bit of that, that falling out because <laughs> it was like that. Do you know what it is? Let me tell you. Because there's times when I thought I'm going to come down there and a lot of them, they're going to get it. Because, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But Loon's is my guy, bro. Yeah. Like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and disrespect my guy in no way. All Loon's done, yeah, is Loon's done what he does in private mm. in public. Yeah. So if you said to me, would Loon say that to you? Yep. Mm. He'll say that to me. He'll say it to me. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck the police. Mm. Fuck these kids. Don't work with that. Don't do this. And da, 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 da. He says them things mm. there. This is why, we, like, we've 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 had disagreements about many a things. Mm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Oh, I don't care about that, man. He's the guy. Let me tell you. Mm. He's the guy that gets you beat up by police. When the police are like, get out, I'm the guy. You know me. Officer, like, da -da -da -da. you man, shush, shush, shush. I swear Loon's nearly got us um, shot in Bosnia. <laughs> so you're thinking, what is the man them doing in Bosnia? <laughs> Bro, yeah, you're playing games with me, man. You're playing games with me. Nah, but you know yeah, nah. but it's like, um, yeah, he just done. And the reason why I didn't say nothing online, as I said, he's my, he's, he, mm. he's my guy. Like, I mean, he's, I'm, I'm, I'm godfather to his daughter. Yeah. Like, do you get what I'm saying? I'm not going to ever come on, on the internet and disrespect him. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Even with that, it did jar me. I think, like, nah, like, because... But he done what he does in private, in public. Yeah. In, in public. That yeah, was my only indoors, thing. Yeah. yeah, keep it indoors. If you don't agree, talk behind this, the scenes. With, with, with this Sunday, we're all on the same team, though. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Team, 100%. So no, come on, and... yeah, come on, bro. Yeah, come on, bro. It's nothing with... Like, people will only make... A drama out of because we're oh Mashtown don't speak mm. oh do you not they're all my guys yeah. do you get what I'm saying like I'll, I'll talk for them yeah. no one's gonna do nothing in in life mm. do you get what I'm saying and vice versa like I'm not gonna do you know what I'm saying I could be with the worst man ever yeah I'm not gonna make him put hands on a man for like do you get what I'm saying so it's 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 love is love Loons is just like annoying sometimes isn't it but yeah. I love him isn't it any, any last words any last words for us. Um, any last words? Um, no, I don't. I don't think. Uh, any last words I got? 
yeah man just follow just follow what 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 man's doing if not and you don't like it don't follow it like do you get what i'm saying it's so easy it's so simple do you get what i'm saying um documentaries coming new shows coming good talks coming positive vibes positive energy and yeah that's about it man it's been a good talk yeah, come on my guy enough love bro. bob god always, bless always always